Hello, and welcome to Dice Friends. This show and everything we do is brought to you by you and your support of our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Loading Ready Run. Hi, I'm Jacob Burgess. I'm the storyteller. This is episode two of series two of Not a Drop to Drink, A Tale of Vancouver Island by Night, our Vampire 5th Edition Chronicle. Listen to this and a bunch of other games wherever your podcasts are served because we're great, and you should do it right now. I'm not the only one here at this table. I'm joined by a bunch of other folks that are going to help me tell this story. Allow me. Allow me to let them introduce themselves, because I don't have to do everything. God, I hope I don't have to do everything. Do I have to do everything? No. No? No, we'll help you out. Okay, thank God, because this is collaborative storytelling. And we will start with our players and characters, uh, beginning with Cameron. Hi, my name is Cameron, and I am playing Silas Reed. The uh, he's a very good, very good boy. He's a, a Tremere warlock. Just trying to get through the day. How about the nights, though? Oh, those are those are no good. I figure the days are pretty easy to get through as a vampire. Yeah, yeah, that's why he looks forward to them. <laughs> yeah. Another day, another doubloon, right, brother? And then you just crawl into your coffin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this job's easy. Yeah, every day, all all Silas does is haul ass and get paid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about you, Adam? Hi, my name is Adam, like Jacob just said. And I am playing Oliver Tyndall, and I am going to turn into a fucking bat at some point. It's going to happen. Come heck or high water. I don't know why I said fucking and then heck. So. <laughs> that was <it's> hilarious. <laughs> it's going to be a good day. And uh, uh, what clan does your character belong Doesn't to? Doesn't have one, baby. Uh-huh. He's all alone. He's a kaitif. Fantastic. Uh, and who would you like to go next? Hey, my name's Heather. I work with Loading Ready Run. You probably have figured that part out by now. I'm playing Jessica Chadwick. She's uh, a Toreador. She's great. She's the best character I've ever played anywhere, anytime. Yes. I've decided this. Fantastic. Uh, who would you like to go next? I, uh, uh, Corey? Yeah. Hello. My name's Coriander Dickinson. I'm playing Jordan Hinkleman, the Bruja with the van. <laughs> the van new... full of dead deer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, for, for now. Like, you know, for now. You know, the, uh, Sorry, it's all coming back to me. Yeah. Who was it? The Bruja. The Bruja with the van. The van. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a yeah, friend yeah. with a van now. She can totally give me rides. You'll know it's go. fine because there's a wizard on the side. <laughs> <laughs> and who did it belong to before? Do you remember? <laughs> I don't know. They just found it on the street. No, the Vancouver Island LARP Society. Yeah. By yeah. LARP. LARP. Yeah. <laughs> by LARP. And there's a dead deer in it. For now. For now. For, for now. now. Oh, for like, now. It's not the only dead thing in there. Yeah. So let's what 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 happened what happened last time? Where uh where were we? What what happened? Mm, mm. We were yep. Silas was at the library. Yep. And then we I was with Jordan because we needed somewhere remote to be so yeah. that you could turn into a bat. <laughs> yeah, or at well, least try to. I or did. practice. You yeah, know, just practice. get some I don't know, some something. time in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we heard somebody scream. Yeah. And then we Where came, were you? You were in the parking lot. At parking lot. At Coulson. At Coulson yeah. College. Yep. Yeah. And then we went and investigated and we found a, another person that was a, I guess, a vampire. Um, and well, they were. We saved somebody. We saved somebody who was getting sort eaten. Of. Probably. They're probably fine. And then Sometimes. we captured that person, but then the cops showed up. Well, the ambulance showed up. Yep. And we lost Jessica, and I lost both the phones. Yep. And now I am holding a dead deer inside Jordan's van, mm-hmm. and there's a weird... The person is a weird vampire, and they kept talking about... I said something. They sang Mary a song had about a little Mary. Lamb. Yeah. Yep. Mary had a little lamb. She said mm-hmm. she's coming. I don't know what that means. It's ominous, but Mary had a little lamb with some steamed broccoli, mm-hmm. mashed potatoes, a little mint jelly. Gotta good. have the mint jelly. Mm-hmm. Where'd the deer come from? Anybody remember? Uh, Adam, <laughs> oh, yeah. Adam summoned it. I Not summoned the deer. Summoned yeah. Yeah. 
I summoned the deer. <laughs> yep, you you called the deer right to you. I forgot about that. Needed yep. needed to feed the the uh, toothless vampire thing yep. we found. How did we? I realized it's my job to take notes. How did we call the cops? <laughs> We oh, didn't. uh, uh, you looked <clears throat> for a phone in the body because you refused to let right. me use any of the cell phones right. that I had. Yes. yes. And, yes. uh, and then you, you didn't talk to them either. You just like called 911 and threw it at the thing. And I yeah. think we yelled at each other a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then. Then you had a compulsion. Yeah. And how did that messy critical happen? How did that compulsion happen? I, no, I was very stealthy and I got away super well. And then just the moon happened to be out. It's, it was gorgeous. It was I mean, very pretty. Sick. And no one, you know what? I got away. <laughs> I like how you're like, I would have got away with it too if the moon wasn't out. It's like, the moon's always out. It's just there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a terrible weakness to have. <laughs> well, I mean, it was it was how the moonlight was dappling through. You see, Toreador yeah. love things of beauty. And every yeah. once in a while, uh, really have to indulge in it. Okay. Uh, so currently, it seems like our coterie is in two different places. Yes, uh, it would seem that way. Yes, it would seem that we have split the party. Uh, yes, and that's fine. Okay, because we can switch between scenes. Mm-hmm. Uh, all of your characters are as realized people as we can make them, and we will flesh them out even more as the game continues and as you explore these roles even deeper. Uh, but please also keep in mind, just for this, you know, your we've gone over lines and veils and a bunch of different safety rules. You are not your characters. Um, People are not their characters. You have to be very, very careful. It's a concept called bleed, where what happens in the game kind of starts to affect your real life Mm -hmm. uh, in a non-positive way. Uh, So, you know, everybody just needs to be careful of that. Everybody at this table are professional uh, performers, uh, and we all trust each other, and we're here to have a good time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fantastic. I think you mean fantastic. Do you have any willpower damage or anything? (laughs) No. No. No? Okay. Well, let's keep that in mind. <laughs> I just... See, you all started doing this, and the only thing that I can think of, and we're, we'll do it at the end of every episode as much as you want, but all I can think of is Little Bunny Foo Foo. Yeah, and, uh, you know. Yeah. When I, was yeah. In, when I was five, I played Little Rabbit, Little Bunny Foo Foo in the play. In the play. There's a play? Yeah, there's a play. Yeah, it's, Little Bunny. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a one film. act, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's <laughs> very short. Yeah. I was four. What yeah. are you? It's not like, it's not like there's an intermission. It's not like, oh, off either. Broadway? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, very off Broadway. Yeah. yeah. Real. <laughs> real off Broadway. Real, <laughs> real off Broadway. <laughs> So, again, just to remind you, you know, if your characters have their own motivations, things can happen. You are 110% welcome. Uh, I'm, I, it's actually a joy of mine to run uh, different scenes and scenes concurrently. Uh, but when you do end up splitting up and splitting the coterie, uh, we're going to be going back and forth between two scenes. Uh, we try to do it as elegantly as possible. Uh, just be ready. Be engaged. Uh, and hold on to your butts. Because, oh, ooh, boy, cops have showed up. Uh, there's a dead deer in the back of the van. Uh, Silas, where did Silas end up? Uh, Silas was trying to make sure um, Jessica didn't find Dawn that, that interesting. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Okay. Because so, nobody knows where Jessica is. She just wasn't there when you got to the van. Uh, Silas decided to go off to try and find her mm-hmm. uh, while Jordan, uh, the uh, apparently fangless vampire that you found that was uh, feeding on somebody, but it cut them with a box cutter uh, in order to do so. Um, and uh, uh, it's, it's a it's a brand new van. It doesn't have that new car smell anymore. It never did to begin with. It smelled like leather and feet. At least you got rid of the feet smell. Yes. <clears throat> um, now, speaking of note-taking, you're taking notes, mm-hmm. and that definitely deserves some sort of reward. Now, last time... Uh, we gave you a messy critical to use before the end of the session. Mm -hmm. And as you're taking notes again, uh, I want to give you another messy critical to use before the end of the session, except I would like to give that messy. I would like you to choose who that messy critical goes to. Could be me. Could be any of your fellow players. Like decide now, please. Adam. (gasps) No, 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 no. Let me be clear. Mm -hmm. You're giving it to Adam to use before the end of the session. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never mind. It's not a bad thing at all. (laughs) Yeah. So that means you can turn any role into a messy critical. Sick. But you must do so before the end of the session. Okay. All right. 
I trust Adam to wreak havoc. <laughs> oh, I would too. Mm. I look forward to it. Uh, the, uh, by wreak havoc, you mean, of course, enhance the yeah, yes, the story. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's, I'm sure that's, that's what, what that we, means. We all mean Definitely. that is what yes. that means. Yes, good, good. God, help me. Uh, excellent. So let us uh, let us continue on. Um, so uh, team van. You've not quite left yet. You had just loaded the deer into the back of the van. Uh, Oliver, you are covered in blood because you uh, were wrestling uh, and deer got poured over you. Uh, I, what's your hunger level at? I got it to go. I think it's only one. It's one? Excellent. Yeah. It, it will stay at one. Um, uh, the only way, just to remind, the only way to get your hunger to zero is to take a human life. Uh which means that your preferred feeding method will never allow you to go to. Always be a little hungry. Always be a little bit. I'm always perpetually standing in front of the vampire fridge and it's open and my vampire parents are like, close the door, there's nothing in there. And then you're like, but I can't, I don't know, I want to eat something. And they're like, well, close the door, you're letting all the cold air out. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm sorry, but I'm just always hungry. And the only thing in there is like an old jar of Miracle Whip and some mustard and like Mm -hmm. maybe a slice of bread. Yeah. It's not going to do anything for you. Mm -mm. Yep, that's exactly. Okay. That's one of the most appropriate metaphors I've ever heard. Uh, and I've been playing this for a very long time. <laughs> Just trying to put myself in the moment. That was very mm, <laughs> that was fantastic. So we agreed to park the van somewhere nearby, away from where the cops were searching, mm-hmm. so that Silas could try to find Jessica, who is missing. Yes. Yeah, we actually yeah. did set up a to rendezvous up. point. Ah, okay. So because like, a rendezvous point. we kind of have to operate like teenagers in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Before cell phones became really common, mm-hmm. and you want to hang you out with your be friends back here, yeah yeah, 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 because Jessica has all the cell phones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we both. just like meet at the mall, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, we'll just get there when we get there. Right? Yeah, we're gonna have to do our best. Yeah, or occasionally you walk over to a friend's house and their parents let you in. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. yeah mm. I remember that. Mm. Yeah. No. Instead, it's me just sitting there clutching the steering wheel, just like. When are they showing up? Yeah. They said yeah. they'd be here. Oh, the deer, and then we got this fangless. Fa- I got to here. <laughs> Actually, Oliver probably like, hey, uh, Jordan, uh, I thought vampires can not have fangs. Probably. What do you mean, probably? I don't, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Well, if you don't know, then. And I don't have the phone, I would <laughs> call Quinn immediately. But Are you sure it's a vampire? I don't know. It was drinking blood. Talk to them. See if you can get get some information. Yeah, that's, <laughs> they're, they're uh, just singing "Mary Had a Little Lamb" over and over again. What do you want, Lamb? Hey, hey! All right, you're with me. Hey, um, so that was crazy. Um, just want to know: Are you okay? Hey, coming. Cool. Good talk. Yep. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Um, Maybe I should put on some music. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we just turn the radio up <laughs> so it's loud enough that we can't hear them. See, I'm just sitting there with a dead deer, and they're in the back seat, and I'm just like sitting here in between you and this person. Yeah. Okay. So the way the van is structured inside, yeah. uh, because it uh, apparently has been used for gear, it looks to be one of those old, like repurposed uh, uh, police vans. You know, sometimes like the the old ones go on sale. Uh, somebody had apparently, you know, repurposed this. So the back actually doesn't have any windows. It does have two sliding doors. So there's the two seats in the front, and then you know your oh. windows, oh. and then another bank of seats in the back, and then the rest of it is open. Oh, is yeah. it kind of okay. like the, you know, in Home Alone 2 when Kevin's mom was traveling back, she had to get in the van with like John Candy? Yes. Kind of like that it's setup? It's like that. Okay. <laughs> yep. It's it's pretty much that setup. Okay, Like cool. this used to be like a police van or like, you know, a fishing van. You know, it's a lot of times, you know, folks use it for ice fishing or go and set up like the, the temporary huts and things. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sitting across from this person. Uh, I would assume yeah. you were in the back of the van. Okay. I No, I'm asking. I'm asking. It's up to you. If you want to be sitting in the seats with a deer that's bleeding out on your lap, you absolutely can. That I is, think Oliver would call. because he's too scared to do anything, and he's just gonna just sit there and let it like yeah. bleed all over him. He's just like, I don't know. I yeah. don't know what to do. I don't want to make anyone mad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 
I think we, we popped them in the back and it was like, hey, the seats automatically go on the floor because it's a cool, cool van. It's a cool yep. LARPing van. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it, yeah. it's, it's gorgeous. Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, it's, it's actually, it's, it is fairly modern. So like, you know, the seats and stuff are automatic, but it does have like a big open space in okay. the back. Yep. Um, and it does have that DVD player. Cargo van. All right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, what do we do now? The we plan just, was to wait, but I mean, wait. we're I guess we just wait. limited. Yes. Yeah. I'm just waiting. Speaking of which, Jessica, hmm? the moon is gorgeous. You wish you had a notebook or something so you could take down how this moment strikes you. There is nothing else in the world except for the play of the light of the moon on the leaves. What do you contemplate in this moment of perfect beauty? How the moon can shine so brightly even with light that it's stolen. Beautiful. That's wonderful. Silas. Yeah. How are you searching for our lost rose? Steve. <laughs> like, it, it, <laughs> you know, Still when you're in the Steve. theater, <laughs> your friends are in the theater right. and you've got like, you went to go and get popcorn yeah. and a drink and yeah. it's just, you're circling the exterior of the seating area. Yeah. Steve. <laughs> Steve. Jessica. And your friend doesn't answer on purpose. Yeah. They know this yeah because they're like, oh, yeah, everyone's uh, going to know that I'm Steve. Yeah. <laughs> So you've, um, you've snuck back on campus and you're going through the woods or you're going down- I'm retracing my steps. Route. That's where all the cops are. So you may want to consider another course unless you want to stealth your way through the cops. I cannot do that. Theoretically, I could bluff my way through, but hey, I was just in the library doing research, trying to find a friend of mine. Okay. Um, uh, so is that is that the path you'd like to take? Also, please keep in mind, your storyteller is your friend. If you'd like to ask for any advice, okay. you're welcome Silas's to thought process is your other players. if Jessica is on campus, she is going to be somewhere where we probably, like, she got separated at some point. And the only way to find her is going to be to retrace my steps. Okay. Um, hopefully, she has the good sense to stay away from the cops. So maybe the places where the cops are are where the only place I know where she can't be. All right. So... Let's search with that in mind. Okay. Let's assume that Jessica is going to have enough sense to stay away from the cops. Okay. All right. Um, That's a beautiful okay. assumption. Yeah, I love it. I like that you think that highly of me right now. <laughs> it's the only, like... Well, he doesn't know that you have a compulsion, right? No. <laughs> He's just trying to think about if you're just thinking, like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. And I've got to work quickly it. because Indeed. I can't make Joe and uh, 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 Oliver wait for like an hour. So what do you feel would be an appropriate role to do this quickly? Um, like, it's definitely going to be an awareness role to, to see her, but mm -hmm. like the linked stat might have more to do with how well I know Jessica. So like maybe a... Hmm. Well, to do it quickly, mm -hmm. wits, I would say probably, would you okay. agree? Yeah, sure. Wits, excellent. Like, I'm, uh, I'm happy abstracting this one, unless you course. think the search itself is um, interesting to play out. Well, you know what? I like your approach. So let's do, uh, let's let's make this an interesting role because you're trying to do it quickly. Mm -hmm. And you're basing it on how well you know Jessica mm -hmm. to try to zero in on where she might be. Mm -hmm. So let's do composure, empathy. Composure, empathy. Interesting. Empathy is. I'm sorry, that would be insight. I have a insight. Question. Yes. Um, would our characters know? I guess everyone else would know, but would I know that there's a possibility that since Jessica is a Toreador, like, do they know our clan compulsions like common? You know what I mean? Like, is it widespread information? Like, do we know, like, oh, Toreadors are just like, Sometimes they just see something pretty and they just freak out a little bit. They just stop functioning. It depends on how well during those three months that you were with Quinn. Yeah. 
how well you listened. Oh, no. Absolutely <laughs> not. All right. Yeah, okay. That would definitely be something that Joe would know, Yeah, I yeah. think. I, I That's what I mean. I meant more like from a general standpoint, not- Oh, like, yeah. I mean, general from, standpoint. Like, Oliver specifically, mm -hmm. but I just mean like, do vampires know mm -hmm. like, oh, Toreadors do this sometimes? Yes. Sometimes absolutely. they just freak out? Okay. Yep. Um, actually, what's your total dice pool for, um, uh, for intelligence occult? Uh, four. Four? Yeah. But I mean, like, <laughs> Oliver's only spent his entire time looking to see if Bigfoot was real for a cult. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But, but it, maybe it, he caught some. It, yeah. You, you, know. you did some, did some osmosis. Yeah. Uh, let's say you know that, but you don't know it specifically. You remember something that, like, each clan has a thing. thing. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So each Oliver is aware that there is a thing. There is a thing. Yep. Right. Oliver is definitely aware there's a general thing. Joe would definitely know that. It's an uh, option for what could have gone wrong. But we don't, but yeah. there's no way for us likely, to tell, like, it's just like, that's what know, happened, right? Jessica like, probably right. just decided not to follow the group. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I'm not saying, like, hey, Oliver has figured this out, but I'm just wondering from a yeah. general mm -hmm. information standpoint. Absolutely. When the, someone tells me, like, oh, I'm a Toreador, I'm like, oh, you like pretty things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yep. just like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All Generally, right. yeah. yeah. Yep. All Excellent. right. Please. So uh, my dice pool is six. Six. Can I take half? Yes. Okay. We will we will have you take half. <laughs> yep. I will take half. Very, very good. Yeah. Excellent. Very smart. So keep Clever in mind use of game commitment mechanics. Game uh, game. <laughs> that if the uh you can always say, Hey, can I take half? And I will give you a general idea whether or not your character is good enough to just do that. It's essentially half your dice pool. If your half your dice pool is equivalent to the difficulty of the task, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yes. Uh and then difficulties of tasks uh should be all on your primers if you want to uh, take a look at that. I believe they should be. Um, so yes, you sort of just intuit, like, it, this isn't a thought process. This is just a, okay, what do I know of Jessica? Silas is very good at reading people and seeing situations. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you do come upon her. You were able to get around most of the wooded area because you see where the cops are mm -hmm. and they're starting to spread out. So right. you are moving at a clip. Are you attempting to stay hidden? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. I definitely want to avoid cops. Do they have dogs? Probably. I would imagine. Can dogs track us? I don't think they'd bring dogs. Can I think not, on, not a yet. Like this, yeah, I think this they is, would send like one car. Right, you know right I mean? now, this is first responder. They may eventually bring dogs. Right, okay. Yes. But this is for, this is the first car, first responder. Okay. Uh, So there's like two or three on site along with some firemen. Okay. As well. Okay, that's yep. that's easily avoidable then. Yes, yeah, you you can get around them. Uh, I would say that this is a moderately like, I would say difficulty two. So what's your dex and stealth? Two, two. Gonna need you to roll that. Okay. Can I blood surge? Absolutely, please. and that adds two dice to this. Uh, yes, I will add two dice, but roll the hunger dice to see if you get hungrier. I do not. You do not. Fantastic. So now you add two dice to that one attribute. You call upon the power of the blood inside you and become swifter. Can I take half? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're playing with vampire. Very good. So you blood surge and you take half. Uh, you were able to get around uh, all of the, uh, the, the police officers. Uh, mm -hmm. The two police officers that had begun to spread out. Uh, medics are on the scene. Uh, one of the officers uh, is taking pictures. The other one is just kind of looking and scanning in the wooden area. Hmm. Uh, and you see in the distance a vision mm -hmm. dappled in moonlight. It's as if the clouds had parted to let these beams through the trees. Staring up, looking angelic and quite frankly, beautiful. Mm -hmm. You see Jessica staring. Is it dangerous to snap a Tory out of this? No. No? Okay. Probably. What's Probably. your intelligence goal? Uh, seven. Sometimes. Sometimes. Because they're just inherently... Well, we're vampires. Tories are dangerous. Yes. Maybe how would you feel if someone took something you were enjoying away from you? Yes. It really depends Strongly. on how hungry you are. There's a bunch of different factors. So sometimes. 
She's staring at the moon. She is. I'm not going to touch her, but I will uh, like throw a jacket over the top of her head. (laughs) (laughs) It's worth a shot. Yeah. Now, could I pause for just a second? Mm -hmm. Would you be so kind, just so everybody knows, could you read out your clan compulsion? Should be on your cheat sheet for your character. Um, uh, Fixation. Experience a beautiful object. I have a penalty of two di- negative two dice stall rolls except compulsion. Uh, resolution, scene ends or beautiful object cannot be perceived anymore. With a seven mm-hmm. dice pool, even taking half, that is something that you would know. Okay, I block the moon. I hold up like <laughs> my bag in front of her like, eyes. Okay. Block the moon. Your, <laughs> Perry, your vision, your... Your reverie is blocked by what does this bag look like? Uh, it's probably actually just like a, you know, no, it is a shipping tarp. <laughs> Silas spent a little bit of money. It was, it was Christmas. Okay. And they had one that he liked because they're all unique. So it's a shipping container, like a shipping tarp, mm-hmm. uh, messenger bag. Like handcrafted? Yeah. Like a hand handcrafted out of a bright blue shipping tarp? Uh, this one's black. Black? Okay. Yeah. Out of a yeah. out of a dark. That was black the one he wanted. Tarp. Okay. Uh several pockets, I would imagine. Very Oh, practical. it's a very good bag. It's a very good bag. Uh the moon is blocked by something that crinkles and is black and holds many things. <laughs> it takes a moment for you to realize it's a backpack. You recognize it. Because you almost threw it out the back of a van at a whale world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I I try to move it aside a little. It's like, uh, I was looking at that. Jessica. What? We have to go. Why? Why would you put this in my face? <laughs> you know, you stumped me. <laughs> um... <laughs> Why? That is a very good question. <laughs> we are in danger and we have to leave. You you said that last time and it was fine. I think you that over-exaggerate. Was be- That's entirely possible. <laughs> but it might also be true that we, we were in danger and I was right. <laughs> I haven't seen anything to prove that so far. The entire time she's not even looking at it. She just... I would imagine, yeah. Just yeah, I just kind of like yeah. just pawing at the bag to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> How long does line of sight have to be blocked? I. It's until the scene ends. Mm. I. Okay. We have to go. They're waiting for us. They can wait. No, they can't. I got all the time in the world. No, you really don't. Okay. Uh, I just <laughs> grab her wrist. Okay. We have to go. Do you attempt to resist? You're not blocking what I'm looking at anymore? Just no. Grab... You, we no, can, I'm just you... going to keep kind of looking at it and being like... <sighs> and I... It's not as good as where you were, but you can keep an eye on the moon as you go i assume you pull her yeah. through the trees yeah okay. we we can you can keep looking at the moon we just have to move i'm just gonna make a little roll for no reason okay <laughs> can, can, can we move a little more to the left sure sure cool <laughs> it's much more round this way hey is that guy bothering you yes <laughs> oh man i almost used my messy critical didn't have to though oh boy oh baby ah, thanks for saving me uh <laughs> there was no hesitation <laughs> you didn't even think about that no. <laughs> there was yeah if we could harness that kind of speed, we'd have unlimited energy for the rest of our days. 
My heart <laughs> leapt. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> i'm sorry Cameron. you're on your own buddy <laughs> yeah. good luck, have good fun. luck. <laughs> oh who said it yeah. <laughs> so this incident took place to, uh near university row mm -hmm. uh like or near dorm row so there are there were people that were partying outside like mm -hmm. You know, it's near end of term. Right. Uh, or I'm sorry, excuse me. It's beginning of term because uh, we're like late into fall at this point. And uh, there are just people like partying outside. And uh, you see a man whose name could only be Chad. <laughs> He's wearing a UVic hoodie on Camosun mm -hmm. campus. Short cropped blonde hair. Blonde, well, what he hopes is good looking stubble. It just kind of looks blurry. Yeah. A yeah. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. He wanders over. He's got a beer. He's just like, hey, what's going on? Cloud memory. <laughs> we don't have time for this. <laughs> Very good. Uh, what do you do? Forget. Yeah. And he just, like, he's like, yeah, hey, what's. Who wants another beer? Like turns around and just wanders back and people are like, yeah. Like just pouring out of one of the dorms, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, did you find out what's going on? And you are, you taken off. Yeah. Very good. Uh, cloud memory doesn't require a rouse check at all. It's uh, right. Audit, he's immortal. Uh, mm -hmm. So, which would be, it'd be weird if he weren't. Yeah. Uh, I'd be like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, forget. You, how do you feel when you're able to just control a person i'd like to say that silas feels morally conflicted about it but he doesn't you did you got the job done uh you're still being pulled the clouds pass in front of the in front of the moon big bright light went away it'll be back it's a recurring event <laughs> back at the van <laughs> I need it. You hear over what's playing right now? Susie and the Banshees. Susie and the Banshees? Yeah. Fantastic. Mm. I need it. And then you feel from the back like the deer being tugged. The matted, bedraggled individual in the back mm -hmm. has a hand on one of the legs and is attempting to pull it <laughs> into the back of the van. What? What? I need it. I like need it. to eat? I need it. You can just ask. You can use your words. You can say, I am hungry <laughs> and I want to eat. I'm hungry and I want to eat. Okay, that wasn't that hard. What's your name? I don't remember. Ah, uh, that's okay. It happens to the best of us here. Yeah, as soon as you like, like let go, it's just. <laughs> Yeah. Like it, it almost like the antlers almost scrape your, oh no, it was a doe. Sorry. It wasn't mm -hmm. a buck. Uh, it just like the head bounces off your chest, okay. uh, pulls it in the back. Uh, yeah. the van is just, yeah, sorry, oh, Joe, I'm sorry. <laughs> Joe made a mess. Okay. Don't be mad, but, <laughs> and it goes at this deer initially with gusto mm -hmm. and then lifts its head up. It doesn't taste good. Yeah, well, just, you know what? This is what we have to deal with, okay? So, if you're hungry, you can eat that, or you can eat nothing at all. What do you think an appropriate role would be to convince this vampire? Oh. <laughs> to dad to them. <laughs> What's your dad role? It's a dad role? What's your dad role? If you have any questions about any of the attributes or stats or what they may mean, please ask the table. Dad or role I'm part of like... the table. Composure. Very good. In Resolve? Com or uh, composure manipulation? So it would be uh, one of your attributes plus oh. skill. Oh, composure. Yes. Something that I probably don't have any persuasion. Uh, persuasion? Do you yeah. have any dots in persuasion? No. No? Okay. Just composure. Just composure? Yeah. Um, how about, given your teaching ability, we can make it academics. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Sure. Let's make it academics. All right. Uh, hold on. How, what's your dice pool? Six. Want to take half? Or you want to roll it? 
Bah, I'll roll it. You're gonna roll it? Yeah. Excellent. Make sure to include your hunger dice. Okay. It's only one, so. Oh yeah. Sorry, is the hunger dice on top of the six? No, no. it's included in. Six? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when you have hunger, it just swaps out one of the dice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and also keep in mind, if you are uh, dissatisfied with the roll, uh, you may take a temporary willpower damage in order to reroll three non-hunger dice. Uh, what's the success? Five and above. Six and above. Six and above. So three successes. Three successes. Excellent. Let me just take a look there. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Uh, the one we don't want to roll. We don't want to roll a one on a hunger dice, right? Uh, so yes, it's one on a hunger dice and no successes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yep. I had three successes, but the hunger dice was a success. But the hunger dice was a success. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Beautiful. Uh, he looks at you. Okay. Yeah, it's not so bad. I mean, I'm I eat stuff like that all the time. Look at me. He does. <laughs> Okay, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Who are you? What? <laughs> Who, who's that? That's Jordan. She's very nice. Nobody's nice. And then, like, just lifts the deer up. Mm -hmm. Begins to feed. You had, a, you, had a tough, you had a tough day. It's all right. It happens to the best of us. Like, shakes that. Do you have a name? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't remember. You asked me. I'm asking you again. I don't remember. Yeah. Did he ask me? Did he ask me? Yeah, he ask we've me? asked you a few times. Okay. It's hard to remember. Please lift up the back. Seems like he's trying to get more blood out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Here. He does. Okay. It's messy. <laughs> Sorry. It's so Sorry, messy. Jordan. Well, if this is yeah. just like a uh, cargo van, it's probably like not even upholstered in the back. Yeah, right? I'm, 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 I'm really liking this cargo van idea because we can definitely just wash this out. Yeah. Uh, just spray it down. We will, we will say the back is unupholstered, uh, mm -hmm. having to have uh, carried apparently LARP gear, whatever that is, uh, in different accoutrements. Yeah, is it just like rhino lined? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get like a non-stick surface in here. Well, that's only a phobic coating. That seems like a dumb luck roll, probably. Oh, what's it's your band? Luck? Three, three. Let's. I mean, in order in order for this to be very easy and convenient, let's make that three successes. So I have if, to roll three dice. Correct. Oh, that's an easy three banger. Are you kidding me? Nope. <laughs> nope. All no. right. It's shag carpet. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this kitchen have carpet in it? This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. It's so messy. So this van was uh, used to transport LARP gear. And... They thought like a high pile carpet. Maybe some foam lining would really help. Yeah. Well, they're figuring because you had to sit in it. They got to be comfy, right? You don't want to scratch your gear, yeah. right? Yes, especially, you definitely don't want to scratch your gear for certain things that happen on shy carpet. It is terrible. And that is when you two arrive back at the van. Uh, hey! <laughs> do you, well, like, do you open the van? Like, you're just like, cool, let's get in and, yeah. like, throw open the door? Yeah, just open the door and I'm like... <laughs> I'm like holding the deer for those Close of you who are listening. Door. <laughs> for those of you that are listening in audio form. I'm holding the legs up with this deer. Open the door. Yeah. See that. Hey. Close the door. Okay, bye. Go to the driver's side. Okay. I'm just going to turn down the radio and roll down the window. Hi, we're here. We good? Yeah. All right. Get in. Uh, um, God. It's a little messy. It's okay. Just throw it's... the deer out the back. People oh, will assume it's roadkill. They're eating. It's so, so oh, bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Which way over one of you gets in first can ride shotgun. I get in shotgun. <laughs> hey, Jessica. Nope. Hey, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's just, hey, it's me, Oliver. Uh -huh. You are... The moon's hold over you fades. But now you are going... Would Jessica consider this scene 
beautiful? Confusing, I mm. think, more than anything. It's, but not grotesque. Not grotesque. Mm. Okay. You're mildly uncomfortable, but you can still get in the van. You are possessed of all of your faculties, although there is a uh, lingering sense of loss. I'm somewhere better than this. Ugh. It's like, come on, you're covered in blood from doing medical stuff. I'm covered in blood from attempting oh, medical shoot. stuff. I didn't even notice that. Ugh. Are we going home? Can I change? More, you hear more sirens in the distance. We have to go now. Fine, but only to make you stop saying that. I'll get in. All right. Next Oliver over. scooches over. Who's that? Don't know. They won't say. I could use a name. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to start the van mm -hmm. and start driving. Just like, Jessica, do you have our phones? Yeah. Do you want those back? Susie the Banshees is playing very loudly. Yeah. Uh. What? <laughs> she said, she said, do you have the phones? Yes. She has the phones. Good. We need some place to go. We should t contact uh, Quinn. She said, good. We have, we got it. We should, we have somewhere we need to go. We should call Quinn. Why can't we just go home? Why can't we just go home? It's not really safe. It's not safe. Why is everybody yelling? Who's you can, this? You can start asking questions when you tell me your name. I don't know. Well, then Do, you don't just, get to ask just, questions. Just give them a name. Do you want a name? Do you like a name? Okay. You want a name? Okay. Can I have yours? You can just No. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know. They seem like a Jessica. Where I'm sitting. <laughs> that would be confusing. <laughs> yeah, we can't have two Jessicas. I don't know. I don't want two Jessicas. You want you Jess, 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 Jess? No, mm, I don't like that one either. Oh, but we call you Jesse. That's like three Jessicas. No, that's like the same thing. <laughs> it's shorter. No, it's not. It's the same no, thing. It's the same thing. You can't just call someone Jesse. You can't have. I can't have. I can't have Jesse, and I can't have. I can't have. Well, Jessie you and suggest Jessica. a name. Margaret. Okay. Margaret it is. There we go. All right, Marge. Marge works. It's my mom's name. <laughs> Let me just write that down. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit the button on the, the radio that makes it all stop. I'm just be like Okay. Oh, okay. Geez. That's it we've had So why is Marge here? Time. Well who is this? We don't know. S they, I think they're a high generation thin blood. Like, there, there's some goddamned lick, and we need to get in contact with Quinn. So what happens is, when when a vampire with weaker blood tries to make another vampire, mm -hmm. they they don't get as much power. Why am I still yelling? This I'm just a... very, I'm very tense right now. Okay. So, just... so it's kind of like if Wayne Gretzky had a Wait. kid who wasn't good at hockey. Yeah, exactly so like that. You're 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 a bad kindred. No, I'm not. Then hey, what are you? Hey, 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 Mark, don't listen to her. You're great. She said she was bad. Jessica, I'm good. Be nice. Look, it's not his fault. Probably, I hope not. We we, we need details. We need information. Do you have information? They want information. I don't know what information they want. What do you want to know? <laughs> you wouldn't even tell me your name and now you're just ready to spill the beans on everything else? Just ask them whatever it is you want to know. Who made you? That's a big question to ask somebody. Hmm. That's the thing we need to know. I don't know. Do vampires believe in God? <laughs> is there a vampire God? I don't know. Yeah, that's a big question. <laughs> Who made you? Who made my, you? My sire. Who made you? Who is your sire? Who created you? Do you remember? Who forgot to give you the teeth? No. 
But you do. Yes. Who's my sire? Who's? I don't know. Yes, you do. And he gets, like, kind of crawls over Oliver, almost, and gets very close to your face. Just up in the front seat. <laughs> yeah, like, like halfway in between, like, the matted hair covered in blood, mm -hmm. just reeking of gamey, gamey liquid. Stares at you. If you don't know, what good are you? Get this lick out of my face. Is that a... It sounds like a derogatory term. What is... Oh, what do you... <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Cameron, as your storyteller, mm -hmm. may I draw your attention to your disciplines as a Tremere? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I can taste for blood. If you would like. <laughs> that is do not have blood, to. though. Huh? No, some of it's not. No. Okay. Is much of it his blood? Can I, can I just like... He's got a box cutter and you can ask for it. Yeah. Oh, I have the knife. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Joe has the box cutter and you can ask for it. Yeah. That's Joe? correct. Thank you. Knife. He's going to reach into my pocket while I'm driving. Hand it off. Ugh. You going to eat him? You're not going to kill him, are you? No. But I do like... Mm -hmm. Just like... Like cut, cut mm -hmm. him shaving. Yeah. That kind of cut. Mm hmm. He offers it almost. Okay. Yeah. I, I take a taste. All right. Uh, so if you could just, if you could just reach, uh, just kind of read out what the uh, discipline does there for everybody okay. at the table. By tasting a drop of blood, the user can discern certain basic traits of the one to whom it belongs. So my dice pool is resolve and blood sorcery. Mm hmm. Uh, the user dabs the blood on their tongue and makes a resolve blood sorcery roll. Mm -hmm. Difficulty three. With a win, the user can determine the resonance and intensity of the blood if human. They can also identify whether the blood belongs to a mortal, ghoul, vampire, or other supernatural creature. Okay. Uh, hunger dice definitely apply. Yep. So blood sorcery two mm -hmm. and resolve of three makes it a five dice pool. Yes, I need indeed. three successes. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of my blood potency of one... Do I get a discipline rouse check reroll? May I? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Because I, I know blood potency affects your discipline rolls sometimes, though I'm not familiar with the mechanic. Um, no, you don't get a... It's not a, uh, a reroll. Okay. Yes. Oh, right. It's the... You can reroll the rouse check. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I might burn willpower on this. Understood. One, I will give you more information two, for every success. Three, four, five. Five. Wow. Nice. Fantastic. Fantastic. Five banger, you know, it does not know. Yeah. All right. You have gotten the opportunity to use this power a few times. You attempted to use it on a lupine. Yeah, when I thought it wasn't a lupine. <laughs> Indeed. This blood is sanguine it is it melts over your tongue it is definitely kindred blood but diluted very very thin it doesn't have the viscosity that you're normally used to when you have tasted kindred blood in the past mm -hmm. and you've had experience doing so in your training as a Tremere And the blood tells you a bit of a story. Okay. You see just a flash, a momentary flash of a garage and an attempted theft. And the thwarting of that theft because there are Secrets that must be kept. Do I... But a moment of regret passes across your soul. And just a moment of... What have I done? 
I shouldn't do this. You feel, if you saw this place again, you would recognize it, but you, there's no other features that might lead you there. Is it a commercial garage or a residential one? It seems like a residential garage that's been converted into... So it's not working on cars anymore. There are vials and tinctures and ungents about. Most of them red. Great. You see the shape of a deer. A great buck. Mm-hmm. Nailed to a cross. And that is all. I describe this to everyone. What did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn? A garage. Where were you? Where is this garage? Who is it? Who owns it? And they'd lean their head back and go, T-Book! <laughs> and then pass out. Okay. They fall over unconscious. That was weird. Um, That's saying something considering what the current situation we are in. Like, in the wheel well, they're really in an awkward position in between the two cars. Like, yep. you can't get to the emergency brake without grabbing a fistful of hair. Yeah. All right. So that's at least one piece of information. Uh, I yeah. I'm I'm not gonna uh, lie to y'all. I don't really know what to do. Don't look at me, Quinn. That would be nice. Would I know what they were doing with all the blood? Does it's not it... something you've encountered before. Okay. You could make a roll mm -hmm. at a very high difficulty, okay. if you would like, to get an inkling. Yeah, I would like to. Intelligence occult? Let's do intelligence occult. Difficulty six. One hunger die. Ooh, easy six, baby. Easy six. This is the easiest yeah, you got six this. I've ever seen. I've never Seven seen dice. an easier six. Yeah. Seven I've never dice. seen an easier six yeah. in my entire life. One one for just extra. No successes. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. Well, it's not time. something you've ever encountered before. Some kind of sidewalk slam. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Karen. You want to get sued? <laughs> so, are we calling Quinn? I haven't Where rolled that. Heading? I haven't rolled that many dice and not had anything happen since I played Warhammer. Mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, Oliver is just like, well, I'm covered in blood. We have a passed out kind of vampire, I guess. I don't know. You we call do. it a thin blood. I don't know what that means. Mm. So, question though. If if I may. Do you want him to make that roll? What? Oh, do I want to make the See, roll that remember. Cameron just made? Do you want him to make that roll? Oh. Remember what you have. You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know. I know. Okay. Yeah, I'm no, just, no, right if you would like him to make that roll, I would allow that if you wanted to spend it. No, I'm good. All right. Yeah. God, a messy crit on that would be like the Tremere compulsion. It would have to be. <laughs> Right, where you look at it and you're like, not only do I know what this is, I know what it should look like, and this is shabby crab. <laughs> Sadly, we'll never know. I think the idea of a vampire saying shabby crab is very funny. <laughs> you're like all oh, well put together, and you're like, ah, oh, yes, shabby crab. <laughs> it's just like, oh, they're talking like a child. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Adjusting the tie that yeah. he's not wearing. Like, mm, yes. So who's making the call? I, I am. You have resolved I've pulled to out call. a phone. Yes. Oh, okay. you've actually done it. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, you're just, one. okay. You're I'm like, pull out great. One of your phones. Okay. Not mine. Mm -hmm. oh, which one? Um. I'll call for my phone. Don't call. Let's roll dumb luck. Okay. Uh, I have a dumb luck of one. But what's the, the, the lucky one? Yeah, what's the <laughs> luck part? Uh, probably not Oliver's phone. <laughs> oh, God, please, not my phone. Uh, 
success. Hey, that's going to be Joe's phone. Oh, fine. Great. All right. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay. So it's I a call from a blocked number. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I pull out Joe's phone and I look through the contacts and I... I, I uh, there is a contact. Yes. Yep. Okay. And I call that one. You dial. Yes, Joe. Oh. It rings for a while before yeah. he answers, before Quinn answers. Uh, no, Jessica. Did something happen to Joe? She gave me her phone. Why would she do that? She didn't understand it. Interesting. What can I do for you? Uh, well, we're in uh, a van all together, and everyone's kind of freaking out because there's this um, uh, extra person we found who uh, is missing some teeth. <laughs> She's trying really hard not to say vampire because she knows at least a little. Would you please elaborate? A lot of blood. Uh, they should have some very pointy teeth, and they don't. Ah. Uh, all right. Where are you? Jaren, where are we? On the highway. I see. Where was your last stop? Where can I meet you he wants to know where we can meet we don't have a destination your choice i guess uh, we just left camison 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 i see meet me in the parking lot in uptown in saanich upper parking lot near the whole foods uh, I'm sorry, Jacob. This is 2017. Yeah, it is 2017. We didn't get Whole Foods. Yeah, it was 20. Until... It was late 2017, wasn't it? D yeah, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, it, like it had just opened. Yeah, I know because I got sent to the friggin' opening. Cool. We'll see you there. I was there on opening day when we finally got a Whole Foods. I thought it was. Mm. I don't know. Somebody will correct me. But in this world, it's 2017. Yeah. We'll yeah. See you I don't need By to be way, corrected. A lot of blood. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. How, what? Like Oliver called a deer or something. It's, it's a whole mess. You said my name. Why are you saying my name? Who are you talking to? Is that Quinn? <laughs> you guys said you wanted to call Quinn. Oh, you called Quinn? Did you call him on my phone? No, I used the other phone. <laughs> it, Quinn hangs up. Yeah. <laughs> Oliver's phone rings. Oh, <laughs> oh, I picked that oh up. I'll get it. <laughs> okay. Where is it? I, I, I Where is it? it up. Uh, that's going to be opposed, uh, dex athletics checks. Yeah, sure. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. Three? Um, oh, dex athletics? Four? Yeah. Three. Oh, you have three. four? Oh, no. Uh, All and that includes hunger dice, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. <laughs> uh, no successes. Uh. You didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> Both hunger dice are tens. Whoops. <laughs> My hunger dice are Shouldn't have grabbed that phone. <laughs> Oopsie doodles. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Just to remind you. Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's not all cataclysmic. You know, we're going to, this is a I'm messy. Good thing we're going to Whole Foods. This, <laughs> is, this is a, uh, this is a messy crit. Just to remind you. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use uh, what I'm calling the Gerber rule, named after my friend Meredith Gerber, who introduced me to this rule. Uh, this is our nice house rule. We're all gonna suggest uh, what form this takes, up to including, uh, you know, clan compulsion. That's definitely that can definitely be a part of it if that wants to trigger again. It's just been a very emotional night for Jessica, perhaps. But mm -hmm. let's go around the table and suggest what this uh, messy critical might look like. Well, I think. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I was I was actually yeah. Please, okay. if you could. Um. Jessica gets very angry and like fangs come out and she like hisses it at Oliver and then answers the phone calmly. Okay. You do uh, vampire fangs like retract? Yes. Oh, neat. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Some do. Some, it depends on humanity a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like most things in vampire, it depends. That is the general rule, but there are always exceptions. Mm -hmm. mm. Need a second? 
I I think I think I I managed to answer the phone, but I damage it a lot. Okay. Like it, you might not be able to use the the number buttons. You okay. might only be able to use like speed dial. Fantastic. Beautiful. All right. Uh, <laughs> Jessica wants to keep the phone away from Oliver and does by crushing it. <laughs> like does the keep away thing, and then just just crushes over, it. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that Oliver will probably get thrown away by Jessica. You know, there's not much room to move in this van, but he goes to grab and she like snatches and just goes push. <laughs> and just like pushes him into the back of the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, which one are we going with? It's a boat. Table boat. What do you think is going to be most fun? Most uh, dramatic? Hmm. You can vote for your own. That's totally fine. Yeah, I vote for mine. Okay. Yeah, I vote for mine. Okay. <laughs> I, I I like the idea of pushing Oliver because it's just like, you're going to run right into the thin blood and cause a little trouble there. Most likely. Uh, What was Joe's again? Uh, Just uh, uh, Jessica is very intimidating and scares Oliver. Mm-hmm. Mm. Actually, I kind of like that a lot. All right, <laughs> so looks like looks like we're gonna break a tie. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with um, uh, the social uh, Jessica loses loses her composure. Okay. Mm. Um, how does Oliver react to that? Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Chill. God, take it. Have it. It's yours. I don't own a phone anymore. Uh, cool. And before you answer, uh, has anybody moved the thin blood? No, he's still down. He's still the between the front seats. Yeah. Actually, when I'm done with him, if he just fell asleep, I'm gonna push him back. Oh, I'm he's he's in between your two seats, like in the front. It's like laying face yeah, down. Yeah, like <laughs> he's like squeezed he's in between okay two. There. Uh, okay, yeah, you just kind of uh, yeah, because yeah, he's filthy floor. and he's yep, yeah, he stinks. It's mildew and blood. Uh, yeah, the thin blood is dumped at the floor, like at both your feet. So you answer. Yeah. Cool. Hello, oh. Oliver's phone. Mm. Jessica speaking. I would like to speak to Oliver, please. <laughs> hey, Oliver, you want, this phone, phone calls for you. Oh, really? You threw a big tantrum and you just scared the crap out of me and now you're just handing me the phone anyway? Is there anything you'd like to say? No. Phone call for you. Oliver? You yeah. just hear like distance like Oliver? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. What happened? What do you mean what happened? Right now? Yeah. Well, I tried to grab I the would... phone and Jessica got all freaked out on me and scared me. <laughs> oh, uh, you mean you you mean the greater picture. Sorry. Please. You uh, hear a engine begin to increase in volume. <laughs> yeah. Uh we okay, so I <laughs> this is gonna sound weird saying out loud. Um I wanted to figure out if I could turn into a bat, and Jordan was uh, obliging obliging me, um, mm -hmm. and we went to near Camosun just to you know find some quiet time, and uh, we ran into uh, Silas and Jessica, and we heard a scream, and then we found a person with an exacto knife, and they were feeding on another person. And so I called some animals because I didn't want them to eat the person mm. and they started eating a deer and then the cop showed up and we all ran and we lost Jessica and then we found each other and now we've got, um, Silas called them a lick. I don't know if that's like racist. We're calling them Marge. Marge. Yeah. Sorry. We named them Marge. <laughs> um, but they called them, I don't know if that's racist or not, but it sounds racist. But anyway. It's um, not flattering. It's not flat. That's what I figured. It sounded the way he said it was not nice. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Now we've got like um uh, Silas ate some of their blood and then now he's not talking to anybody. Um and I don't know, he seems tired, but now we're trying to find I guess we're trying to come meet you. What did the Tremere say? Uh well, nothing really. No, nothing. Silas, did you say anything? Yes, I described the entire situation to you. He described the entire situation, but I wasn't listening. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, I'm being honest. Let's tell him about Tiva. Look, this is a lot. Yeah, T yeah. The 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 thing. Yelled... I'll be there. I'll, it it's fine. I'm going to. I need to get a different. You have this thing with you. <laughs> yeah. Well, Marge. You have Marge with you. Yes. I need a different vehicle. I'll be twenty minutes late. 
get there, try and be inconspicuous. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Yep. Are you all right? Um, great. 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 He hangs up. Do I know where I'm going? <laughs> We're going to a Whole yeah, Foods. I told you. Yeah, oh, you did tell yeah me. I did tell you. Okay, yeah. Yep. Whole Foods parking yep. lot. Yep. Uptown. Yeah, uptown. Yep. It'll be pretty much closed at this yeah. point. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, you get to Uptown, the you know fairly large shopping complex. Uh, pull into the parking lot on the upper level. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> so he puts up his hand in the van, like, "Hey, Jordan. Um, Quinn said he had to get a different car." And he's going to be late. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah. I don't know what that means. It sounded very ominous. That so. means he'll be late. Yeah. We pull into the parking lot next to the brand new Whole Foods. Opened just about two weeks past. Huh. Most of the parking lot lights are out. It's quiet. Can we get out of the van? It's still. There is no one around. There's... Across the way, you see a, a Michael's craft store and some other things. There's a couple of cars over there. But other than that, empty. I'm not getting another van. I'm covered in blood. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Oliver. Please stay in the van, Jessica. You're covered in blood. Yeah. I'll just play with your phone some more. Did you at least update the content? I did. I. It was very simple. I don't... Can I have it back? Yeah, okay. Thank you. I'll just use mine. Hmm. Wait. I get out of the van, take out my sketchbook, and mm -hmm. try to draw the garage. Ah. And okay. the uh like the alchem the, the apparatus that I saw. Ah. Uh do you have craft? I do in Excellent. drawing. Uh resolve craft. Uh drawing definitely counts, so it's okay. one extra that's your specialty. So mm -hmm. it's one extra dice. Okay, and it would be craft. Oh, craft Plus, resolved. Res resolve? Resolve craft. Yep. Okay. Resolve craft. So that would be five dice. Can five I take dice? half? You cannot. This would okay. be a bit beyond you to do. Uh, you're trying to get it down before it the vision leaves you. Yeah. Are you trying to do the um, the garage or? The garage is probably more important. Okay. Excellent. Let's make that roll. Uh, one success. One success? I mean, it's a, it's a 10, but that's only one success. That's only one success, yeah. It's only two, if it's two 10s on a D10, then it mm -hmm. is double success. That is a critical success. Uh, you were able to, it's not your best work. Mm -hmm. It's not your best work. Mm -hmm. Somebody with investigative ability might be able to use this to pinpoint it if they've seen it before. Okay. Yes. Oliver's got investigation. <laughs> It's true. So does, so does <laughs> Silas. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So if you've seen it before, you might be able to, uh, you might be able to recognize it. You might be able to use that picture to help other people recognize it. Okay. So uh, is there anything before Quinn gets here? Is there any conversation you'd like to have or shall we move on to the next scene? What are we telling Quinn? The truth. Uh, I, I, I is that going to get us in everything. trouble? Uh, nah. No, we're no. fine. No, okay. we're just waiting. Um, Sit tight. Might get that one in trouble. Oh, okay. They they seem like they're probably in trouble. Yeah. Uh, actually, is there any way I can like inspect this person? Yeah. Like, do they have recent? Was it recent? Um. Oh, can were they were they embraced recently? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That is information that you got from. Uh, you are disciplined. Okay, right. Yeah. Um, I look at their hands. Like, do they have... Is this the first person they've done this to? You're not sure. That's not okay. information that you can tell. Maybe their they have teeth. something on them? So yeah. I like, I, I search their pockets. All right. You go through their pockets? Yeah. Um, what happens when you... Because you tasted their blood. Mm -hmm. What happens? Is this Oliver asking? Yes, or Adam? No, this is Oliver asking. Mm -hmm. I have the ability to read from someone's blood their history, their huh. lineage, oh, the yeah. nature you're, you're of their blood. Teller. Neat. That's cool. Can you do it to me? I probably wouldn't learn anything you didn't already know. I thought you were going to say I didn't learn anything important, and I thank you for not saying that. Mm. 
Thanks. Okay. Maybe, maybe in the future. Okay. This may not be the appropriate time, but this may be a way to learn who your sire is. Oliver's and I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Mm. That's not it. <laughs> it didn't cross his mind once. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, anything else? No, I don't think so. Mm. All right. Like, do they have any other weapons is the big one. They do not. Okay. No. Uh, there is, in the pocket, there is a dead rat, uh, similarly cut. Mm -hmm. A dead rat, similarly cut. A dead rat, similarly cut. Their pockets are full of rats. Gross. The same cut rat. Uh-huh. Really good catching rats. It's about five of them. Catching rats isn't easy. Big pockets. <laughs> Jeez. What Several kind of pants are these. Uh, they're like, as you're looking closer, they're like those big kind of hippie linen pants that have like the big flared okay. pockets. Yeah. They're, but very scummy. The, the, you're looking a little closer and this is like linen yoga gear almost. Huh. Like one of those like big loose shirts. Right, right, yeah. right. Bare feet. They were barefoot? Yeah. It's not like they eat shoes. Are they Vampires like... don't eat shoes? Are they like pajamas? <laughs> Maybe. Hard to tell. They're very dirty, crusty. Uh they've definitely been sleeping rough for quite some time. Do vampires get cold? Depends on their humanity. Yeah. Hmm. How much they pay attention to it. Okay. So. I assume the, the rats are drained. Oh, yes. Um, yes. There's lots of deer left. Are you hungry? Anything no. else? <laughs> uh, no. No ID. No. Sadly, no. Mm hmm. 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 Do I get the impression that they were sleeping rough before they were no. a vampire? Okay. So nice stuff, mm -hmm. then embraced, and then immediately like just out on the street. Correct. Okay. And what's your uh, dice pool for um, uh, resolve investigation? Six. Six. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Well, should I roll it? That's up to you. Yeah, all right. Uh, three successes. Three successes. There's not much more that you can get that you haven't already supposed. Mm -hmm. You get the idea just given how long you feel they've been a vampire through tasting their blood. Mm -hmm. They've definitely fed before. Okay. It seems, based on what you've seen, you would suppose, no hard evidence, but you would suppose that they had tried to start feeding on animals and that wasn't satisfying anymore. Whether or not this is the first mortal they'd gone after, you're not really sure right. if they've done it before or not. But fairly bold to do it to attack somebody on a campus. Yeah, there's a lot of people around. Even if it was a jogger going through the park and the woods that are there. Mm -hmm. Were they dropped here? Unknown. How, how, what are the condition of their bare feet? What is the condition of their bare feet? Uncalloused, but that probably just means that they, if they were barefoot it would happen after their would have happened after their embrace because it still hurts right still to hurts. walk on gravel or typically yeah. yes uh mechanically so the mechanics of it is uh any superficial damage uh mm -hmm. which is you know gunshot punch ow i stubbed my toe gunshot uh, yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah okay you take half damage essentially half mm -hmm. of superficial damage aggravated damage would be sunlight supernatural sources anything that affects a vampire fire sunlight mm. uh lupine claws more than likely mm. not more than likely absolutely we'll find out yeah <laughs> no let's hope not uh, you, you find what out you will find I'll out watch. 
You want to cube that? Please keep it out. No. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I love how y'all don't love your characters very much. Not really. It seems. <laughs> no, I'm not. This isn't a moral judgment. Uh, uh, just a more more of a comedic statement. Um, <laughs> like we don't care if we live or die. Oh no, it's not. I wouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. I wouldn't say it. <laughs> so. What would you like to do with the information? Or is it about time for uh, Quinn to make his triumphant appearance? I think Quinn appearance? can basically show up. I'm not sure I'm going to discern anything else mm. from... If nothing is jumping out at me at this point, and I'm not discovering anything peculiar, if there's no clues about their origin or how far they've come, because how far can you walk in a day, right? Or, in an, mm. or a night? Mm-hmm. And still, like, where were they going to sleep? These are great questions, but nothing that you can intuit from an investigation of their person. Yeah. They are still very much unconscious. Can Oliver, Oliver like, tries to wake them up? Does anything happen? No. No? No. Are they, they breathing? Are. Do vampires breathe? Uh, they are not breathing. I think they're dead. For all appearances, they are a dead body. Um, Oliver, we're all, we're all dead. Technically. Nobody in the van is breathing, except you occasionally when you remember. I am breathing and it sounds like this. <sighs> <laughs> I'm very aware that I'm breathing right now. <laughs> and I don't have to be. Okay, mm. my bad. It's okay. It's, you're new. Yeah. It happens. Okay. Means you can wear really tight clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Normally the appearance of Quinn is preceded by the roar of a highly tuned engine from a very expensive car. The sound that reaches your ears is definitely the opposite of everything you would come to expect from a vehicle that Quinn would be driving. It is a diesel engine. It is not cacophonous, but definitely loud. As you see a U-Haul van hmm. drive up and park two spaces down from yours. Quinn emerges, not in the finery that you normally expect him to, but in a one-piece Carhartt suit. Hmm. Black. Black gloves. He has a toque on, pulled down to his ears, and a black breathing mask, wearing a fairly high-collared, very expensive-looking, you can tell, <laughs> uh, turtleneck underneath. He comes out and lowers down the mask. You've checked the area? <laughs> <laughs> No. Mm -hmm. it, no. It, we're all a mess. Let me see. Open the van. <laughs> Close oh, that. Yeah, is, you open the van. He's like, you're like, open the van. And then Quinn like takes one look and goes, <laughs> shuts it. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Thin blood we found. We, sa we saved the other guy, though. On campus. It had torn up a student. On campus. On campus. Where are they, like, talking? Like, where's Quinn? Like, so, I guess Cameron's sitting shotgun. Yeah. yeah. Joe's in the driver's seat. Yeah. Yeah, Jessica because you're going to be back. in the back. So uh -huh. I'm, like, trying to lean in to hear the yeah. conversation, like. <laughs> you know, kids in the back, yeah. adults in the front. Torn up a student, and yes. the student is where? On campus. No, well, probably at a hospital probably by now. The, hospital the ambulance now. person showed up. Alive. Yes. yes. When I left him. 
alive. Yes. He sounds almost hopeful when he asks this next question. Almost dead. Yes. Pretty close. Likelihood of passing. Well, we, we held on till they got there. So as long as it went well with them, should be fine. And you attempted no. to save this mortal. No memory of the event. I'm pretty out of character. I'm pretty sure I clouded their memory. I don't, I don't think remember. We, we, they we were could. unconscious. Yeah. Like, they were unconscious. Yeah. yeah. We couldn't. We couldn't. They were bleeding seal out. Seal off their mm -hmm. wounds and stuff. You definitely succeeded in saving their life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, right? And we want to. The door opens just a crack. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. And then he shuts it again. Okay. And then he turns around and he leans against the van. All right. Why did you save the mortal? That was probably my fault. <laughs> it just seemed Sorry. Almost, uh... Yeah. I just can I can't, you know. Thought, thought we weren't supposed to kill them? Yeah. No. I can't watch it. I'm sorry, Quinn. I can't. <laughs> no, I'm still, still kind of human a little bit. And I mean, probably That's... not a little bit. Are we but... not, aren't we not like supposed to keep them alive most of the time? Typically, we are to feed and stay hidden. This one was attacked. And then we'll share their story. And we do not have the control over the mortals on this island that I would like. Resources are thin on the ground. I have eyes in a couple of places, but not everywhere. If this incident, ha incident happened in, say, Vancouver, or Chicago, or, well... No, not Prague. Not anymore. But in one of the uh, stronger Camarilla domains. We could deal with this quite effectively. But one mortal sharing their story on how they were attacked. By, with a box cutter? No one's gonna believe them. Come on. With... <laughs> no one's gonna believe them. Yeah, Joe's just like tight-lipped and like looks like she's been called into the principal's office. Kind of like... To be fair, we didn't know it was a vampire they got them before. Ah. So, the order of events, what exactly happened? Well, Jordan and I were going... <laughs> Jordan and I were hanging out. Uh, and... I see. We came to Camosun and we found... We already had uh, Jessica and... We found Silas randomly, fortuitous, really. Um, and then we heard the scream, and then we investigated, and that's when we found this person. So you heard a scream mm -hmm. and decided to investigate. Yes. Well, Jordan ran off to go investigate first, and I didn't want to be left behind. So I ran after Jordan, and then there was the bleeding thing happening. And I didn't and want to be left behind. She went off after the other thing that attacked yeah, it. Yeah, I saw someone feeding a stranger feeding yeah. and pursued and i sensed another uh yes you know mm. <laughs> kindred yeah that one uh, mm. i i sensed one and it was running away and i chased because i didn't want to i didn't want to be alone So you investigated because there was a scream and you wanted to be heroes or because you detected a vampire and decided to, to then investigate? This is important. I wanted to see what Jordan was doing, so I just followed Jordan. I'll be honest. I Someone was in danger. I see. Yeah. And you wanted to see if some of your newfound abilities could be of assistance. Mm, you know, I didn't think that far ahead. I am shocked. <laughs> And you, Joe? Uh, yes. To which question? <laughs> uh, 
I don't want to say this, but I did tell the group not to follow me. Uh, I don't know if we would have been able to capture the thin blood before they interrupted a dorm party. I see. Without the help of the others, so I'm not upset that they followed. I... Things got out of hand very quickly. Yes. But we managed to evade detection, as far as I can tell, and uh, get in contact with you. We didn't get a lot of information from Margaret. Marge. Uh, they were mostly unresponsive, singing a song about a Mary. Yeah, nursery rhyme. Mm-hmm. But uh, no memory of their name, no knowledge of their sire. Yeah, I don't know why we kept asking what their name was when they kept telling us they didn't know. Sometimes licks are obstinate and must be asked a question a few times before the answer is produced. I, uh, what are you looking at? What are you looking at me for? I think you know why, Mister Tyndall. <laughs> and you? Yes. What yes, door? we investigated. There was a scream nearby, and we looked. But and why? Because it's dangerous. This island is completely uncontrolled. Here he goes again. There are... There are lupines. There are anarchs. We can't afford to ignore sources of danger here. And it was a good thing that we did. Because, as it turns out, a thin blood running around feeding in the open on a college campus who doesn't know their sire. They've been dumped here. Okay. It is lucky we followed. Otherwise, you would be dealing with a much more severe masquerade breach right now. You all have a good point. <laughs> Adam just immediately looked at your thing. All of us? Yes. All right. Okay, carry on. We do not have a lot of control here. Definitely not as much as I'd like. You are to be my control. That is the idea. I, who, whose idea? Mine. You work with the tools you are sent and or given what you have at hand. And once we claim this domain and stretch out the control of the tower, all of you will benefit with herd, with domain, possibly your own praxis. But I need you to work with me. I can only do so much on my own, and every time I am called in to help solve one of your problems when things get out of hand, I am taken away from a different matter. And like ripples in a pond that become waves, they may crash upon all of our shores. So what's next, Sheriff? <laughs> Mr. Tindall. <laughs> what's a praxis? Claiming a domain. Like a house? Yes. Except over an island, say, or land. Is it like when, you know, like when a bunch of YouTubers get a house together? But vampires? 
that kind of thing. I've heard about. I don't people think doing he this. means a stream house. Miss no. Chadwick, is the metaphor anywhere close? To no. That? No. No. How Welcome. would you put it? Let us educate. And he puts a hand on Oliver's shoulder, like having opened the door by this point so everybody can talk. Let us educate our newcomer. And he's he's holding a little tight and Yo. shaking you Ow. just a bit. Okay. It's, yeah. it's more like, so you have the house, but you also have a really big yard and maybe also a summer house. And like everybody has to listen to you. Okay. It's a stream house is more everybody in the same space, yeah, but not out. Like a medieval fiefdom. Turf. It's turf. turf. For it's our turf. Group. It's turf. Hmm. Okay. I was just asking. We have claimed praxis over the entirety of the island. And we start here. It has already taken me a year and a half to wend my way into certain systems. I have help but not much, and I can only have so many ghouls at my beck and call. Should you wish to benefit from the ivory tower, you are to aid me in this endeavor, because otherwise it will be chaos. You did well tonight, despite your questionable choices and bleeding heart. Are you with the Camarilla? Are you with me? As a, of course. Already part of the Cam fam. Ooh, I like that. Can we call it? Can we? Is that a? Okay, sorry. Uh, I'll be honest. I didn't think vampires had to get jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was it. I just thought I didn't have to work anymore. But I mean, it makes sense. You must still exist as part of a human system. Yeah, but... How you do that is largely up to you. Mm -hmm. But I believe your savings are probably almost gone. <laughs> yes. We, yeah, but I mean, like, if we're helping you, do we get paid? Is this like a, is this a job? Is what I'm wondering. The Camarilla takes care of its own. Okay. So, yes. Like, is it a union? I, I'm just wondering, because I mean, like. It is not a union. <laughs> I just don't know how it works. I was just asking questions. I'm sorry. This right. is all very stressful for me right now. Okay, Quinn? You understand? <laughs> I spent 55 years of my life just being a regular idiot. You know, that nobody respected. And then all of a sudden I'm immortal? Do you realize that every TV show that is made from now on I get to see the ending of? <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot to take on <laughs> for anybody. You know? And I'm dealing with it the best I can. And when I ask a question and you give me some attitude... I don't appreciate you very much, okay? So I think it's time to review the frenzy rules. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to roll a frenzy check. Okay. Let me just... Messy critical! Oh, please, no. My hunger's at three, man. I can't. <laughs> Nah, I'm using well, it I'm, right now. Who's running the frenzy <laughs> check? <laughs> Wait, legitimately? Yeah, Absolutely. We <laughs> So, for a frenzy check, mm -hmm. the hunger dice do not apply to willpower checks. I am so so sorry. Dang her. Uh, but because I don't want to uh, you know, I don't want to yuck your yums. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you like to automatically succeed at this or would you rather hold on to the messy critical and make the roll naturally? Oh, I'll hold on to the messy critical. Messy critical? Yeah, okay, yeah. hold on to the messy critical, make the roll naturally. So what you're going to need to roll yeah. uh, is your willpower yeah. plus half of your humanity dice. Okay. Okay. That's a lot. It's a lot. What's your humanity? My humanity is seven. Seven? Eight. Eight? Eight? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
you know what? I'm just going to let you, you don't need to roll this if you don't want, yeah. if you don't want to. Yeah. You can okay. just take half and yeah, I'll take do half. it. Yeah. Uh, because it's a lot, right? Yeah. Through your years of teaching and everything, right. um, you feel an anger that it's not that it's not yours, mm -hmm. but it's more intense than you felt in a very long time. It's like when the kids talk about inside you, there are two wolves. Yes. Except both of these wolves are vampires. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Like so many fangs. One of the little bastards just put a thumbtack on your seat. Yeah. 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 That's happened before. Yes. Know. Uh, like for the third day in a row, mm -hmm. you're able to tamp it down. You're still angry, mm -hmm. but nothing else rises. Okay. You. Quinn seems a little taken aback and like, hmm. Oh, there's some fire. Stutter a lot of duress. <laughs> yes, you are. And I understand that, but it's best that we keep ourselves under control. Okay, sorry. You don't have to apologize, but yes, I am offering you a job. I'm offering all of you. Let's just make it official. I'm offering all of you a job. I would like to make you all my deputies. Ooh. And the purpose of your coterie, as you've already proven once tonight, on a trial basis, would be to assist me with masquerade breaches. It will come with a stipend. Mortal currency is trivial, mostly, to my clan. I can call in some favors and make sure that all of you are taken care of. Mm. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think that I forgot that I had to work. You know, I, there's been a lot going on and I just didn't think about how I was going to pay the bills. I was like, well, I'm a vampire now. They can't. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I've been paying your bills, Mr. Tyndall. Mm. That makes sense. Now. What do you say? Yes. <laughs> if Oliver is like looking at you too, he's like, I need to. I have responsibilities to the Chantry, but I can dedicate what time I have, of course, to suppressing masquerade breaches. This becomes a duty, not simply an expectation. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Quinn does his best to ignore. <laughs> it's fair. Uh, yeah, I'll take the job. It'd be great. How about you all take some time to think about it? Yes? Yeah. We have trouble at hand, and he just nods to the mess of the back. <laughs> Not even a day. <laughs> Miss Hinkleman. Not even a day. Can we talk about this van? <laughs> yes. What is... Vilarp. It is a live action role playing uh. group here in town. They count many of the law enforcement in their number. Okay, thank you. I have a contact, a ghoul, in the police department locally, in Saanich who is a member of this group and generously donated the van for your use. Thank you. You're quite welcome. Now, what do we do with him? What is... What are what are they? Because a they blood. 
most likely. Oops. He leans over. They are incapacitated, yes, before he actually touches mm-hmm. them. And curls up like the front lip and starts to like move their head around a little. Mm-hmm. A box cutter, you said? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. They're going to have difficulty feeding. What does this mean? I don't understand. They cannot produce fangs, nor do they employ the kiss as we do, because their blood is not strong enough. Oh, why? Every time, for every generation further from Cain, <clears throat> the blood grows thinner mm-hmm. and weaker and less potent. Like the guy from the Bible? Yes. Further from Cain. For real? Yes. Wait. Well, are you a nodist, <sighs> Mr. Reed? It's a useful lens for examining. No, I'm not a nodist. It's a nodist. <laughs> Someone who nods a lot. I don't know. The Book of Nod- or Nodists are, a, for lack of a better term, a vampire religion. Oh. Oh, the guy from the Bible was a vampire. <laughs> to hear some tell it the first. That's crazy. They just teach it in church. That's kind of funny, isn't it? I- no, nobody <laughs> finds that fun. That's kind of funny. The point being, um, for every every time a new vampire is created and that vampire goes on to create another vampire, mm-hmm. the curse gets weaker. Oh. Until... Is that why all the old vampires are so special? Yes. Okay. And why it is more difficult for them to feed. They require more blood. They uh, they have access to greater, more profound powers derived from that blood. Wait, the older the vampire is, the more they have to eat? Yes. The That's weird. Closer, Old people don't eat at all. The closer they are to the first of us, the more powerful they are. Hmm. But the older one is the more time you've had to practice and develop. Okay. Age and generation. Two different tracks. Mr. Tyndall. Eventually, you're producing vampires with such weak blood that they could walk during the daytime Hmm. or are unable to produce fangs. Bummer. They are masquerade breaches, one and all. Oh. Oh. So we're getting rid of them, huh? Wait, we gotta get rid of them? Like, rid of them, rid of them? That was the question. Oh. So that's what I was asking. Well, how about I leave it to you? What do you feel we should do with him? Can't we just, like, I don't know, send them to Madagascar or something? Like, can't we just get rid of them? Like, can't we just, like, put them on a boat and just ship them away? To where? I don't know. Some are not here. All that is is giving a problem to a different domain. And if we can't handle our own issues, well, then none of us will ever hold praxis, will we? We are being watched, Mr. Tyndall. Our actions in these nights will determine the course of this island. Hmm. Okay. I had assumed you'd want you would want them for information, but if you don't want them, we can take care of them. One of the things that you may not be aware of is that there have been more thin bloods these nights. I was relieved when I found you that your blood was not as thin as others. You display certain predilections, your appetite for mortal cuisine, for example, your ability to actually consume it and derive pleasure from it. Love a cheeseburger. I'm certain that is the case but is that weird yes none of you can eat not without effort and the use of blood so you just 
Put blood on your cheeseburgers? No, no. it comes back up with blood. Oh, gross. Man. You cannot digest your food. You still have to expel it, but... Oh, I thought that was... Have you not noticed you can't uh, poop? Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver's just like, I have to go! <laughs> Nobody told me you. I had to make it go. I thought I was just I thought I was just backed up a little bit. I didn't realize that I had to go somewhere. I didn't think about that. I just months. figured I was a vampire and it's just magic and it happens. It's been months. I know. I was wondering why I didn't feel too well. I was feeling a little under the weather. What do I have to do? Like I just throw it up or what? Yes, you are to throw it up. Have you not thrown any of it up? No! <laughs> Dear Lord, man, purge! Every time Oliver talks, we can just see, like, the top of a cheeseburger wrapper at the back of his throat. <laughs> Nobody told me! We told you not to eat that beef jerky. You, you told me not to eat it! You didn't tell me that I had to do anything with it. Seemed pretty obvious. No, it didn't! Oh my goodness. I am essentially a toddler, okay? Can I uh, teach you how to use Google or something? No, I don't know how to use a computer. There is a trash can over there. <laughs> All right, so Oliver is like, waddle, he's covered in blood. Yep. Yeah, he, I, it's, it's empty. Yeah, he waddles over <laughs> to the trash can. That. <laughs> Three months of mortal food come up. Gross. All right, well, it's pretty densely packed yeah. at the end. It's kind of like an owl pellet, yeah. really. Make a rouse check, please. Uh, Just 1d10. 1d10? Yep. Two. <laughs> yes. Uh, much like an owl pellet. It comes out <laughs> like a odd sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just vomit up a turd? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I'm really <laughs> sensitive right now. Uh, Come on, Silas. Cut me some slack. If any of you... <laughs> recording it with my phone. <laughs> if any of you comes hey, along... stop. Yeah. <laughs> Quinn just reaches up and just lowers your phone. <laughs> Allow the man some dignity. <laughs> mm. I saw a commercial for a Play-Doh play factory. <laughs> Stop, you're making me laugh. <laughs> this is fascinating. And it ceases eventually. And you feel better. Yeah? Yes. Oh. Man. I, I, just, I just had to live like this. Oh, I feel so much better. Your clothes fit better now as well. Yeah, a little bit. Get back in the van. Okay. You're covered mm. in blood. Yeah, thank you. Get in the back of the van! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any information from this one? Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, we... He was turned after breaking into a garage... And finding what looked like some kind of blood alchemy set up. Uh, derived from a deer. And then he shouted the name T-Book and <laughs> fell asleep. Yeah, that was weird. <clears throat> I I show him the uh, the drawing I made of the garage. He looks at it and I... It's just like a standard residential garage somewhere. Can I see it? Uh, if you want to make a wits investigation yeah, check. I do. That'd be great. Uh, so wits plus investigation. Yep. Yeah. Any specialties here that come to play? Uh, no, just I have five dice. Okay. Hunger dice definitely uh, yeah, applies here. Difficulty four. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, oh, two successes. Uh, would you like to take out temporary willpower damage to reroll three of the non-hunger dice? Sure, why not? All right. So I just mark that down? Yep, you mark that down. Uh, just one slash through it. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh. 
Yeah, two slashes is for aggravated. Is aggravated, yeah. Uh, so that's like, okay. that would be, that's bad. And so I, keep the two, I keep the two successes. Keep the two successes. No, no, one. So you'd reroll three non hunger dice. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, reroll. Reroll. So you re-roll. can't roll more than two dice. You, you, oh, yeah, yeah. So oh, one okay, willpower you. damage. Yeah, 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 two, I got you. I got you. I yep. got you. Oh, one success. One success. Uh, unfortunately, it tickles the brain, but not a clue. Okay. Yep. Huh. Would any, anybody else like to take a look? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. Uh, what was that again? Wit, wits investigation. Wits investigation. Three. Uh, would you also four. like to? Sure. You you don't I'm have to look at it later. It but... is. It any roll is a risk, so you don't have to. Ah. Oh yeah. Wits investigation. Hunger three. Yeah, I would maybe not. I, I have. Not again. Yeah. Smart. Four. Smart. Six. Six successes. You, wow. You've got yes. You well, you've got the that the, is the, yeah. So that makes yes, them four, four, and these are five six. Yeah. Amazing, and it's not a <laughs> it's not a messy crit. Uh, That's or is it? Hungry dice, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. like holding the gun. No, I, it went on my non hungry uh, dice this time. It's a real crit. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's 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 a regular critical. Oh, that's T Bucks Garage. <laughs> <laughs> T Buck. Uh, you in in your mortal days, you would drive out to Langford, uh, because you know it's just cheaper up there, and that's where the you know that that's where the Costco and everything is. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of the big box stores. So you recognize oddly, not the garage itself, but like the general area. Like this feels like the Langford suburbs, kind of. Like you're like, yeah. hmm. it, I mean, yeah, I'd probably do that out in Langford too. Yeah. I mean, it, I, you're, it kind of looks like a meth lab, almost. The drawings really well, like really well done. It's not as good as yours. To <laughs> <laughs> always like, Silas, you drew this? Yeah, hey. it's really good. That's uh, it's not bad. Yeah. Hey, does, does you do you all know this is like Langford, right? No, I don't. Oh, good. It it also occurs to you that if anybody's going to know about stuff like this, your best bet might be the Anarchs. I don't know if I'd say that out loud in front of Quinn. Ah, uh, yep. Very smart. So. Langford, you say? Oh, yeah. Easily. All right. We'll consider that your first assignment. If this thin blood knows what's going on, and perhaps where they're coming from, consider it your mission to find out. Because if a scourge needs to happen, then a scourge needs to happen. If any more of these are produced, then we cannot keep the masquerade intact and must take measures. Yes, Mr. Tyndall. What's a scourge? I'm a sheriff. Yes? Well, I mean, yeah. Constable, whatever title you'd like to put on it. I mean, you don't have a hat. You can't be a <clears throat> sheriff without a hat, right? I have a toque. Let's call it close enough. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we're in Canada. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll take it. Anyway, continue. A scourge is a specially appointed event or vampire tasked with routing out thin bloods in a domain. Hmm. They are masquerade breaches. Like, is this a thing that I'm supposed to automatically hate as a vampire? Like, I'm a vampire. I just said it twice out loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. That's why we're meeting in a remote area. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't yell. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. When I Okay, so since I'm now a child of the night, um and I am I supposed to automatically just dis- dislike these people? Because I don't feel I feel ambivalent either way. Like I just like I see this thin blood and I'm like, I don't know. What do you think would happen if the mortals got wind of our existence? Well, I mean, I'm sure a lot of us I mean there's some vampire there's some, there are some of us, the kindred, that would probably make a lot of money off of it, but it would be in, in, in general, very bad. Correct. Yeah. 
Money isn't the important part. Mm -hmm. Long-term survival is. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. The masquerade must be protected at all costs. That is why it is the first tradition. Okay. Do Thinbloods not have to follow the same rules as vampires do? Is that the problem? They are not usually educated. They are generally kaitif. It's not that they don't have to follow the same rules. It's that they don't know that the rules exist. Oh, so why don't we just educate them? Because there are too many and our resources are too thin. Oh, <laughs> Thinbloods. Yes. Yeah. Does this make sense to you, Mr. Tyndall? Yeah, Crystal. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm just asking. You don't have to apologize for every question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does he apologize for every question? Yep. Sometimes more than once. I'm just happy you're finally listening, Mr. Tyndall. I'm trying. You've been a good influence on him, it seems. All of you. <clears throat> Please keep it up. So... Keep this one. Yes? See what you can find out? Mm-hmm. Yes? Yes. Or would you like me to... And he looks back at his van and his outfit. Dispose of them. You do look like one of those cleaners from John Wick. It's work well, that I've done in the past. How do you think I got this position? We can still extract useful information from him. If you feel you can. Where will you keep them? Yeah, how are we supposed to keep this one contained? I was just going to stake him and leave him in the van while I had a shower. <laughs> Jordan! <laughs> uh, yes, that, that, that was the plan. It's paralysis for our kind, not death. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Depends on how thin their blood is, though. That is the question. Hmm. But if they can go around walking out. around in the day, that's going to be a, a little hard to Wait, watch. Staking doesn't kill? Not our kind, no. Stake through the heart. Any wood piercing the heart paralyzes. Wow, I got lied to this whole time. Yes, that's part of it. Wow, the masquerade's really good. We ensure to keep it that way. <laughs> It's yeah. not perfect, though, which is why we do not use phones so much anymore, Mr. Reed. Are we clear on the next course of action, then? Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well. Do you need help cleaning this van out? Yes. Uh, I can do it. Can you? Yeah. To eliminate any trace of blood, even from, say, if the police turned this van over. Oh, well, maybe not that good. Well, first order of business. And then he starts to actually educate you on how to medically clean a van. Take supplies out of the back, bleaches, mm. different things. Uh, you want to get these, like, actually, like, tells you how to do it. Mm -hmm. um, this All of this makes sense. You've just never thought to apply these things in this way. Before. I'm sure I'd be able to pick up on it pretty fast. Yeah, right? yep. Uh, he takes out a uh, mattress bag, like, t you know, helps you rip up the, uh, the, the cart. It's actually like Quinn is very methodical and doesn't seem to be talking down to you on how to do this. Wrap everything up and then teaches you how to do it. Hands you some of the supplies to keep in the back of the van and then sends you on your way. Mm -hmm. leave I will be in touch use those phones again only in emergency and I am going to consider this two of your boons that I gave you Damn. oh so many nights ago whose do I mark off in my good book very well then the primogens get is the last one remaining. Think on my offer. Mm -hmm. And good luck cleaning the van. And good luck cleaning that one. You understand what to do if it becomes a problem, yes? Yes. Good. You well, all understand what to do if it becomes a problem. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Kind of. 
You'll have to slay him, Mr. Dindle. <laughs> the final death. <laughs> yeah. Which is not a stake through the heart. Which is news to me. Just a little decapitation. That generally does it. Jeez. Also, I should feel the need to point out for those of you listening on podcast form, Cameron and I raised our hands for giving up our boons. We didn't mm. say anything. Mm. So, <laughs> Heather is the only player left. With the Yeah, I was really surprised, but hey, I'm for it. Yeah. Quinn packs up, nods to all of you, looks at his watch, swears, and leaves mm. in his U-Haul. You are left to your own devices. What is the next course of action? Changing clothes. Where do you go? My place. Because mm. I don't just open the garage, park it. Oh, finally, I can relax a little. Just let the hair down. Uh, I do want to restrain them in some way for morning mm -hmm. before we before we leave do we have do we all go with you you're in the van yeah, yeah. you're still yeah. in the yeah. lot of the van yeah is the scene uh quinn had some budgie cords yeah Just whatever works. Them yeah mm -hmm. do we have to stake them now Just hoping that they're weak enough i that's a risk to stake them. I would rather they... not. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Gwen also helped you in this whole thing uh, remove the decals from the side. Mm. Oh. oh, the wizard. The wizard can remain if you wish. No. Jordan doesn't like it. I mean, it just seems like it would be like a time consuming operation when all we needed was, you know, some blood fixing on the inside i think we should just keep the wizard wizards there all right but the, the uh the the larp society actually yeah like okay but you keep the wizard yes the mm -hmm. lightning bolt is intact Sick. uh does the wizard have a name not yet we'll get there yeah i'm certain and then you all pile back into the van the deer is still there he didn't uh, take it yeah <laughs> I think we can just probably throw, throw it that into out. a ditch yep. on the side of the road. Yeah. Wait, home. It is it is wrapped up uh in order to prevent any further leakage, it is wrapped up in another very thick uh mattress moving container. Yeah. Uh, he uh, points out these are very important, very cheap, easy to get. Hmm. Yeah. Not almost as good as a body bag. Clear most times though. Quinn sure. is a professional. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Good resource to have. Good guy. Yeah, like Quinn. Really piss somebody off for them to send him here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's just ambitious. <laughs> he's also <laughs> a possibility. He's a little flashy. He's a little flashy. Just a bit. So you pile into the van and you head to yep. uh, Joe's house. Mm. It's about three in the morning. You've got, you know, some daylight left. Or I'm sorry, excuse me, some night left before yeah. day comes. What what time of year is this? Are we uh, in like fall? Okay. Yeah. yeah so we got okay. to like Yep. Yeah. It's late fall. You're seven like, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. I would Six? say uh, it's like early November. Yeah. Uh vampires must love the winter. Here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Further north? Maybe yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, they get thirty days a night if the movie is anything to say, right? Or the midnight sun, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Do vampires have vacation homes up north? It's entirely possible. Yeah. Traveling's hard. I never thought yeah. about that. The population's Traveling. really small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Traveling is very difficult. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. I guess vampires can't go through the airport, can they? They can. Oh, can they? Once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If they got all the documentation and stuff, yeah. Oh, if they time the flights correctly or mm -hmm. you know there's there's big business in moving vampires from one city to another oh okay yeah depends on who controls that mm. uh good excellent so you head to uh, your house how do you proceed uh i want to restrain them okay restrain margaret uh get to cleaning okay do you want help i'm pretty sure i can tie a knot yes please i would yeah. like help from everyone okay. uh, in this mm endeavor and yeah then, you you can, can you've got this them up. Yeah. Yeah. like people can take turns using the shower mm -hmm. and 
grab, I guess, clean clothes. Yeah, I've still got some clothes. I've got extra clothes, to, like large t-shirts. and. Uh, that... I shouldn't need it. I might walk to the gas station near your place and try to call Chains. Okay. Oh, do you let phone. anybody know what you're doing or do you? Yeah, just... of course. Okay. Yeah. And you just didn't want to use my landline? No. Okay. Don't need to. Okay. Why wouldn't we use a landline? So call display. Yes. Uh, Why are you calling Chains? Because I want to talk to him about if the name T Buck means anything <laughs> to him. <laughs> I see. Would you like to uh, join Silas on this call with the uh, lovely investigation role that you had, or at least be in the area? Sure. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're going to split into two scenes, uh, the call and the house. So you are, you have trussed up Marge yeah. uh, fairly well. Uh, you are blissfully taking a shower. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, you haven't gotten this much enjoyment out of a shower in a very long time. Yeah. Like, next priority is feeding. Mm. Mm. The, the beast's a little, uh, a little rowdy at the moment indeed so whose home are you going to this time Ooh. because i've got like my little you've got your cul-de-sac cul -sac. yeah let's just go to like a old widower's house lives okay. alone uh doesn't have like snoring issues or anything like that but definitely asleep at this point uh right. is not one of the type of people that wakes up at like 5 a.m okay although i guess it's only like three so okay yeah uh his name is timothy schwartz timothy schwartz all right yep. going to the schwartz house yep uh he is a uh um schwartz be with you yeah uh, he's a german immigrant german uh, immigrant? yep mm. okay. lives alone works on clocks and then nice. watches yeah yep has a beautiful garden. Uh, usually tries to, to go to gardening competitions and things like that. Oh, yeah, lovely. Yep, keeps himself for the most part. Cool. Yep. Uh, so uh, first, I think would be uh, Dex Security. Uh, security. No, security is. Uh, my... I'm sorry, larceny. Yeah, larceny. That's it. I was like, yeah, yeah. What's the criminal word? Larceny. What's yep. the word for crime? <laughs> <laughs> so Dex. Uh, yeah, what's the total dice pool? Uh, five. Oh, you may take half. All right. Yeah, take, absolutely. You take yeah, half. Take half. You're able to get into the back door easily. And your deck stealth roll? What's a deck? Oh, what's uh, your deck, uh, deck stealth? stealth? The, the, the pile is same. Oh, same? same? Five, yeah. This you'll have to roll. Okay. Uh, the place is very messy. With three hunger dice, correct? Yeah, but I do have Silence of Death. You do have Silence yeah, of Death. Make sure that doesn't, that doesn't involve like a rouse. <laughs> yeah, just become silent. Just become silent. Perfect. Excellent. Love All right, that. and we're going to lower the difficulty where you can take half. Yes. Yes. No uh, rolls. No rolls. You are able to uh, sneak through uh, fairly handily. Um, it, the place is fairly well organized, but untidy. There are piles of clocks and everything everywhere as you sneak uh, through this fairly austere home, save for all of the different parts. Yeah. Sneak upstairs. And how much do you take from Mr. Schwartz? Uh, that's a question. Just one. One? One. You are able to, with effort, take just enough. To lower your hunger by one. Oh. It is... You feel good, however. He usually has a nightcap before bed. You're not drunk. Mm -hmm. But he's in a good mood. He's in a good place, ultimately. And that emotion and feeling, that satisfaction passes on to you slightly. Does that happen every time a vampire feeds? Not every time. Mm. But... Different types of bloods and humors have yeah. flavors and resonances. I don't know, I've never been able to tell if the deer I just ate was like I had a good day or not. No, it doesn't happen, <laughs> usually with animals. <laughs> uh, that chicken had a miserable day. <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while. Yeah. 
every once in a while you will find a human whose blood is particularly potent in a certain type of emotion and it will awaken something in you. But I'm sure that won't happen for a while. Yeah. yeah. And you sneak back to your home. As you see, Oliver. How are you trussing up Marge? Uh, I saw it on the internet. Yeah, just it's beat together. Hands behind the back. Hands behind well, the back? Okay. Well, that would be uncomfortable. You have as many bungee cords as you need. May I make a suggestion? Yeah. She has chairs. Oh, yeah. I'll just the living room yeah, fairly I'll tie them to a chair. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, I'll just tie them to a chair. What kind of a chair does Joe have? I, like if it's a dining room chair, I think it's like those 90s straight back. Like, you, you gotta like yisk or something and just get a dining set. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it's like not the strongest wood. Okay. <laughs> on the planet it's not like oak okay probably like pine mm. all right excellent and your um your uh, dex craft mm, my dex craft is a seven is a seven yeah. oh you may easily this is this is very very simple yeah for you excellent and now we'll switch to jessica and silas uh would you like to say anything to each other as you're walking to the uh I actually, I'll, I'll hand you my notebook and say, can you just write down everything that you know about this? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, writing. Yeah. Yeah, I can write. Okay. Great. It's in fact your job. So I any details, you... anything you recall? Yeah. Yeah. Any, like... Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know about the Anarch thing. Mm -hmm. About how that it's the Anarchs might know, because I didn't want to say that Frank Wayne, he seems a little not into that. That's a good impulse. It's a very good impulse. He looked like he was already having a bad day. He didn't need yeah. more. Agreed. Info. Mm -hmm. So you find the gas station. Mm -hmm. It's a rundown old shell. Yep. It's light sadly yellow in the distance as you approach a couple of cars in the parking lot a very dejected person working behind the counter i find a payphone outside it is there next to a foul smelling bathroom yeah yeah it would be um i call chains i ask for the notebook back it is full of so many words that is a descriptive story with way too many descriptions that anyone would want to read I scan it for relevant details. <laughs> so you're reading Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> I've used up Boom. five pages for something I could have done in a paragraph. Yeah. The Silmagessian. Lord of the Rings. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> Junkyard. Chantry. How you doing, Sticks? I uh, had kind of an eventful evening. Well, I mean, go get us like yourself. I would expect uh, nothing less. Do you what can I do for you? Does the name T-Buck mean anything to you? Mm, can't say that it does, no. Because we just found one of his kids. Uh, was going detail. very hungry. Going very hungry. Oh, that's a shame. That happens sometimes. Yeah. We need to find him. I think I've got a lead, an indication of what to look for. Really? We we need to find him. Who's we? Anyone who's not that interested in people having kids out in the open. I see. Well, I'll call... Uh... Call a cousin or two, some of the family, see if they've heard anything. How's that sound? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'd appreciate that. I thought yeah, well, you. Sh I thought you should also know that. Uh, the the, the might be more just running around out there causing havoc. I see. That's uh, 
It's good to know. You're going to need anything uh, hauled away there, Sticks? Shouldn't. Well, if you do, you know to call. Why don't you give me a call tomorrow night? Sounds good. Yeah. You giving any more thought to uh, maybe uh, working here? Just now that I got you on the line, thought I'd ask. The thought has occurred. I'll let you know if I come to a conclusion. Yep. And I've been looking into some of the uh, some of the property for you. Uh, might get a couple of might might uh, I might have a lead or two for you. Why don't you give me a call tomorrow night? Or and you know, swing on by the office if you want. I might just crew. might just do that. I'll yeah. call you first. Sounds good. I'll talk to you later, Sticks. And uh, say to Jessica for me. <laughs> Will do. Thanks. You know, and the other two. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the brothers really miss dynamite. <laughs> I'll bring them along. See that you do. That guy's a party. He's tons of fun. Yeah. How's uh before you go? How's uh how's my clanmate doing there? She's doing great. Oh. She's our rock. Yeah. You um. You ask her how long she thinks she can keep Carthage on her shoulders. He hangs up. Always oh, fucking Carthage with these people. <laughs> yeah. Me, 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 me. And you head back to the house. Yeah. Oh, Chain says hi. Oh. Aw. I didn't get to say hi back. Hmm. Now, we're coming close to the end of our session for today. And there was a messy critical that hasn't been used yet. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted to use it, but... Sadly, not on that roll. Yeah. So if a messy critical isn't used by the end of the session, what do we think should happen? Something messy. The prisoner escapes. <laughs> <laughs> I should have asked. You're going to give the messy crit to Marge. Yeah. We're all like, oh, yeah. good. The sun is coming up soon. <laughs> Time to go to bed. Yeah. And Marge is also like hulking out, snaps the chair in two, busts out the front window, you know. So, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I was thinking more mechanically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do we have to blow it? by the end of next session or does it rot on the vine and turn into it. something yeah. else maybe it's the first maybe it goes, next it, session maybe possession transfers to jacob mm, okay yeah. there's the, like, i you get it now. i don't i don't we don't use it i don't mind that yeah. i don't mind that uh so it's on the first roll next session. I, I just think if just if we if we, if we didn't anyone. use it, the very first roll that happens next session. Next session, it just, it's that's just shifted. a messy critical. That's pretty yeah. good too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, <laughs> if hundred dice are involved in the roll, it's mm -hmm. the first roll next session. Yeah. Yeah. All right, fantastic. We can game that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm sure. I take, half. Mean, take half. Take half. Take half. Take half. Take half. Take half. We don't do anything half. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Not a single thing. I sit thing around happens. and watch Bob the Builder for eight hours. <laughs> You're like, ah, I really relate to this. It's, it's, it's like me. Yeah. Hmm. It's like they made a show about meat. Well, you settle in, the prisoner having been trussed up. You God, I hope he goes to sleep. All retire to the guest room, guest rooms that Joe is assigned you mm -hmm. and you let the day take you and we will begin next session as you awaken the next evening consequences and a messy critical await you thank you very very much for joining us for episode two of Not a Drop to Drink, A Tale of Vancouver Island by Night, our Vampire 5th Edition Chronicle. As we said at the top, we say again now, this and all of the content that you enjoy from Lodi Randy Run are brought to you by you and your support of the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Loading Ready Run. Thank you very, very much. And if you enjoyed this and you would like to enjoy all of the other content in podcast form, it is available to you wherever your podcasts are served. Have a wonderful evening, family, my kindred, 
Welcome back to the night, and please look forward as we continue our chronicle of Not a Drop to Drink. So a messy critical right at the top of the session, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, thank you. I guess we're doing this. And good night. <laughs>